Why did I think it was a good idea to go to Costco on Friday? Good morning. It is around, let's see, 6.30 in the morning. Camper and I are about to head out on a little sunrise hike. Well, it's not really a sunrise hike anymore because the sun is actually already out. I didn't know the sun came out this early. <laughs> nice shit problems. Um, but it's about a mile and a half up and then a mile and a half down. So three mile hike and have ourselves a day. Welcome to a weekend in my life as a new grad registered nurse in the emergency department. I'm happy to have you here. workshop i know a lot of you are probably calling in things that have to do with money and abundance and career so i wanted to i'm trying to diversify uh, this bike that my dad had just put together for me and i swear my toys and my mom said i couldn't pay this month so all the toys are gone like i really understand what it feels like financially having all rugs pulled up from under me Happy Friday! Do you guys like my hat? I thought it was fitting. I love the baby pink and you know, I also love what it stands for. Anyways, hi guys. So, to camper outside on our little hike, it was absolutely magical sunny warm which it hasn't been like that here for so long so i am just loving it ready for summer really really ready for summer came home showered and then cleaned up my house a little bit had some breakfast still have some things i need to do around the house regarding laundry because actually i worked I felt like I worked a full week in a row, but I didn't. I worked three shifts in a row, then I had a day off, and then I worked another three shifts in a row. And so that day off, due to it being like in between all of these night shifts, didn't feel like a day off, and I literally did nothing except to sit on my couch. Where am I going with this? I'm just so behind on like all my laundry and stuff, so I'm slowly still doing that. I want to wash my sheets and my comforter and stuff later tonight, but I have some errands. I need to run, I need to get food in my house. Got some things that we gotta take care of. But before we do that, I wanted to sit down with you guys and share with you a little haul I got from a company called Timu, who is actually sponsoring today's video. Timu is a website and also an app you can get on your phone that has everything you could imagine under the sun literally everything my sister and sister-in-law actually shopped there recently for my niece's easter outfits i have four nieces all under the age of five and i believe my sister and sister-in-law got them matching sweaters for easter like this green floral that was super cute and also super cheap which was amazing for them because these little girls are gonna grow out of their clothes so stinking quickly and that is another reason why 
I'm a big fan of this website because we are out here on a budget, people. Things are expensive these days. Life is expensive. I will gladly take a deal when I can. So I'm really excited to show you guys my little haul from them. Everything will be linked down below in my description box if you want to check out a specific item. And then I'm also just going to put the price point here on the screen for you guys to see as well. Also, I have a discount code for you guys. That will be SALE3759. Be up here on the screen and then also linked down below in the description box for you to use if you'd like. So let's do a quick little haul and then head out and run some errands. So I got a variety of items and I'm gonna show you guys my favorite ones. First, let's start with the kitchen stuff. The most important thing here, you guys. This is a magnet for your fridge. It has all the measurements on there. I'm incompetent. What can I say? This is very helpful. <laughs> Next, I got a cute little banana cutter. How adorable is that? I eat bananas like literally every day. Next, I grabbed this avocado cutter, I believe. This gets the avocado pit out and then this slices it in those perfectly beautiful slices that we all hope to have and then i snagged this little carton kind of like a little milk carton and i figured it would be perfect for my coffee creamer in the fridge grabbed this cute little guy it's just a glass cup with the glass straw and then a little bamboo lid maybe pour some kombucha in here and then lastly for the kitchen stuff mm, this is so special and so cute this is a little paw print spoon perfect for when i make camper treats sometimes i'll bake them like little oatmeal cookies i guess you could say with peanut butter and i can use this to add just like a cute little design on top of them so that is my kitchen stuff that i got next i got a couple things like household wise i got a pack of four of these little jars with bamboo lids i figured these would be perfect for the bathroom just to hold little like q-tips flossers etc sort of things like that next i got these little matching vase sets just for decoration around the house could put a couple little flowers maybe i pick on my walk with camper i like this because it's it's very durable heavy duty sort of like a stone texture also grabbed a cute little green flower pillow probably will put this on my bed this next item, quite honestly, might be my favorite thing that I received from them. It is the cutest thing I have ever seen, and I know you guys are going to agree with me. This is a cherry, clearly, cherry. But <laughs> it's a toilet bowl cleaner, but it is so darling. Like, this makes me so excited to use it. Now we're going to move on to just random shit. So... First thing was just a basic silver flask. I'm going to a lot of country concerts this summer, actually just concerts in general. I wanted to get this just to see how the quality was because obviously the price point is super cheap. And I was thinking about customizing a couple of these for my friends and my family for us to have to take into the concert, like doing some sort of cute design. Um, still thinking about exactly what but this is literally perfect i'm excited to use that and then i found this and i thought this seemed really cool it's this sort of like sunset light that you plug in what does it say on here romantic atmosphere <laughs> um yeah so it does a couple of different lights you can do the sun moon change the colors i'm all about that i thought that'd be super fun now moving on to two items i got for my nieces that are toddlers these are so so cute the first one is this cute little heart chain purse it's this gold chain fuzzy soft heart and then it opens up to put stuff in this i was thinking about this specifically for one of my nieces she loves like play makeup she's really girly i think this would be perfect for her to take when she goes shopping with her mom and then my other niece actually has chickens and i thought that this would be so cute for her so it's a little chicken purse you guys it opens up actually is a pretty big pocket how adorable is that lastly we are moving on to some of the stuff i'm most excited for especially this summer 
and that is accessories. First thing first, we've got these adorable, cute little cherry earrings. You guys, how cute. And they're also really light, which I can definitely appreciate for earrings. And last, but certainly not least, are some hair accessories. These are cute little flowers. We've got like a orangish red, a pink, and then a yellow. This is one I'm most excited to wear. Couple more, hold on you guys. I'm saving the best for last, honestly, because I've never seen anything like these before and I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Especially for all of us healthcare people, let's be real. We can go to work with our hair down, trying to look all cute. By the end of the shift, my hair always ends up on my face. Like, it just, it can't stay down, it never does. And so these are just perfect and cute. These are hair clips, claw clips, whatever you wanna call them. Have you ever seen these before? These have strawberries on them. These have flowers on them, y'all. These have cherries, more flowers. How cute are these? Like, what? You know what, let's just test one out right now. I've just never seen clips like these before. Pull a couple pieces out here. How cute is that? I can't see it, but I can only imagine that it is so, so cute. And that is my little haul. Do not forget, again, you guys, I have that discount code for you to use if you're interested. It is SALE3759. It is time now to officially head out, run some errands, I think. We're gonna bring camper by to see my grandma and then I need to get groceries and stock this house up because I literally have nothing to eat. Last night I had cereal for dinner and for lunch. <laughs> Oh, I'm, let me show, show you. Picture, yeah. This is what we're going to do when we take him in next time. We swap dogs too. Uh, I do not want her. She bit me recently. <laughs> oh my god. Mom, this is hilarious. Uh, oh, ooh, okay. Coming in hot with the pickle dip. Ew, does this have mayonnaise in it though? I'm not eating that. The no. first ingredient... Is sour dressing. It's not mayonnaise. What is though. that? It's like sour cream and seasoning. Just like I'm sorry. This looks There's no literally disgusting. Here. <laughs> I'm not eating that crap, lady. Why did I think it was a good idea to go to Costco on Friday? Like, why? Why did I think that that was a good idea? Is it ever a good time to go to Costco? No, usually not, but especially not on Fridays, guys. Oh my goodness. It was busy out there and I got a lot of things and I need to put them all away. So I just ran a couple of errands. I went to Trader Joe's, I went to Costco, I went to a place called Market of Choice, which is like a local cute like grocery store where I live. I got my nails done, orange orange little Frenchy tips, and then my toes are orange as well. Got gas while I was at Costco. They have the cheapest gas. What else did I do? Oh, visited with my grandma. She saw camper for a second um, until I got yelled at by somebody for having him in the dining room area. That's really what I did, but I feel like I've been gone forever and I'm exhausted. Grocery store shopping is truly the most exhausting thing ever. I am appreciative and I am thankful that I have the means and I'm able to do this. Oh, I forgot about another place I stopped at. I went to um, REI because it was on my way and I got a goodie that I'm excited to show you guys. We will do a grocery store little haul and then I'm going to put everything away because it's actually hot outside. Like my house was 76 degrees when I came in. It's toasty. So I turn the air on, well, let's get this stuff put away. First things first, oh my goodness. Costco has these salads. I'm just sharing with you guys because they are 
literally amazing. First of all, only 270 calories. I should be a spokeswoman for this place. And it has chicken, cheese, like little tortilla chips. And the dressing, I think, is what really makes it. It is a sun-dried tomato chipotle dressing. So good. There's four of these in here, perfect for work. <laughs> I got two of them. I gave my dad one, that's why there's a missing one. These are the best pre-made salads I have ever had in my life. I've honestly eaten three of them in one day. Another thing I like to have in my fridge, Costco sells these six packs of Lunchables. It's missing one, again, I gave my dad one. They're just nice to have, and I'm a child and I like them, so those are yummy. And then, <laughs> it's missing one too because I gave my dad one. But they sell these three packs of these burrito bowls. It's just chicken with beans, rice, all the yummy stuff. And it has how many grams of protein? 30 grams of protein in one of these. Very filling and also really yummy to eat with tortilla chips. So, got those to have. A container of strawberries. They sounded so yummy. They looked so yummy. And I think I might have Let's just, let's rinse this little guy off first. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. I feel like I stay away from strawberries often because sometimes you get them and they look juicy and red and they don't taste good and, mmm, that's good. Okay. Coffee. Costco. What else we got here? Dave's Killer Bread. I usually pop one of these in the freezer when I'm not eating it because obviously I'm only eating for one. Then, oh my God. I already opened one because I had one. You guys, I am telling you right now, these are the most amazing discovery I have found in so long from Costco. I don't know how long they've been there, but if you like cookie dough, like raw cookie dough, this is the treat for you. It's these little oatmeal chocolate chip granola squares. They are so, so, so yummy and like perfectly satisfy that sweet craving, that cookie dough craving. I got two because sometimes I go to Costco and I'm looking for something that I really liked and then they just don't have it anymore. So I got two and then I got a tub of tomatoes. We got some carrots for both Piper and I bottle of hair skin and nail vitamins because I'm running out of those and last but certainly not least some Kirkland wine Pinot Grigio $4.99 <laughs> one more thing hiding over here normally I don't buy yogurt or eat yogurt but it's getting warmer out and it sounded good so this is a lot of yogurt now that I'm looking at it 20 cups but it was $12. Like you're just not gonna get that deal anywhere else. And there's peach flavor and it just sounds good. 11 grams of protein, Greek yogurt. I'm actually, I'm excited for this. Okay, next stop I want to Trader Joe's. Oh my goodness, I got my dad a bag of these too and then I, I got one for myself to bring home. These chips are amazing. So they're pickle chips. I think they're only seasonal. So, so tasty. Mm. I got spinach for smoothies. Actually, I got two bags. Two bags of spinach. We've got some bananas here. Grab some apples. These looked really good. They are massive, so I feel like I get two servings out of these apples. Oh, I forgot lemons. Dang it. Mm. Okay. Grab some broccoli. Grabbed some chicken breast, brown rice, frozen green beans. These are for camper. I sprinkle them on his dinner. He really likes these. And they've got to be healthy for him, right? Let's hope so. Lastly, from Trader Joe's. Oh my gosh. This looks like to die for. I bet this is going to be so good. I'm going to have one of these tonight. Vanilla ice cream and mango sorbet. And then these, I've talked about these before. These are so, so tasty. And I also got this cute little guy at Trader Joe's. If you can't tell, I love orange. <laughs> um, it looks like it's gonna blossom and bloom and be really pretty. You guys see that? 
And then I went to Market of Choice, grabbed some little seaweed snack roos. The real reason I went there is they have a really good pre-made sushi. Like they make it fresh daily, okay? It's not sitting there forever. And I got a couple sushi rolls, just California rolls. I'll probably have one of these for dinner tonight now that I'm thinking about it. And then lastly, oh my God, this whole video is practically me just showing you guys shit that I have. But these are exciting because I have not had a new pair of these in probably three years now. Birkenstocks. I need a new pair for the summer because mine are donezo and old and honestly don't really fit my feet very well. So I ran into REI because like I said, it was on the way and I had some credit there because I'm a member, I guess. And um, got these cute, cute new shoes for summer, for camping, all the things. So excited to wear these, break these in. Maybe I'll wear them tonight when Camper and I go on like a little walk. That's everything. <laughs> with my work right now. Organized? What? to go drop my mom off at the airport and then I have a, a workout class that I scheduled a couple days ago that starts at 8 o'clock I think it's an hour long or 45 minutes I'm not entirely sure so bring in my water bottle we're gonna have ourselves a day it looks like it's gonna be nice out again so hallelujah that just immediately puts me in a better mood. I am not meant for cold weather. Maybe periodically, maybe for a month out of the year, but not for how much we've been having it here. Also, I'm gonna have this yogurt. I might take this with me in the car um, because I do not know how people work out in the morning without eating. If I don't eat anything and build up a sweat i literally feel like i'm gonna pass out like i actually physically can't do it even if it's just like a banana or something i have to have something to eat and this sounded good this is the peach flavor mm. that hits the spot it's good okay good morning hoping that this will give me some more energy you know it matches my nails also peep the check engine light right there uh oh <sighs> that's not good i'll take care of that later oh my god my legs are straight jello right now so that workout class was an hour long i didn't start my apple watch until halfway through basically it was an f45 class and we did one full circuit had like a rest break and then we did another circuit i think there was like 30 different stations but i forgot to start my apple watch so i did it halfway through and according to it i don't know how accurate it is but here, I will show you guys. So 250 active calories, 
meaning it probably was a 500 calorie class, probably even more because the first set, I was definitely going much harder. I had a lot more energy. I haven't been to a workout class in a long, long time. So that royally kicked my ass. Also, why is my heat on? <laughs> Anyways, it feels good. It feels good to get moving and be active. I think the hardest part is like forcing yourself to do it and getting up and doing it because once you're doing it, you feel great. And then afterwards you feel even greater. I'm going to go pick up camper and then maybe take him on a walk. It is nice and warm out. Yeah. I think we'll go on like a little morning walk together. And then I have a fun a night plan. I'm meeting up with a friend for some drinks. I was craving a smoothie. We've got a banana in here, lots of spinach, a chocolate protein shake. What else? Oh, and some peanut butter powder and ice cubes. Yum, yum. And just find a posture that's comfortable. And you might gently close your eyes. <laughs> I'm trying to meditate here, dude. You guys. I noticed this at dinner the other night with my family. Everyone seemed to be in a fairly mediocre frame of mind. We were all in some way disgruntled or stressed out. I had a million things I was thinking about. And I suddenly noticed how little joy we were all taking in one another's company. And then I thought, if I had died yesterday and could have the opportunity to be back with my family, I thought of how much I would savor this moment right now. And it totally transformed my mood. It gave me instantaneous access to my best self and to a feeling of pure gratitude for the people in my life. Just think of what it would be like to lose everything and then be restored to the moment you're now in, however ordinary. I am getting ready to go grab drinks with my friend. Normally I would be playing music right now, but I can't. Anyways, getting ready. I don't know, I haven't gone out. <laughs> in a really long time and it's honestly quite literally amazing that I am in jeans right now I don't know if you can see this I have Levi jeans on so <laughs> that's a miracle in itself that's honestly because I don't fit in any of my clothes that's why we're working out that's why we're trying to be healthy before summer gets here one thing that I would love to know your guys opinion about but <laughs> I won't until you know it's too late is do I wear this less puffer sort of thing like it is it's relatively chilly out it's gotten you know colder this is cropped this is the only angle you can really see so here's what i'm thinking it has pockets i like pockets i'm a big fan it's still like springish not summer quite yet i might bring it wear it and then take it off if i get hot but then I have it as like an extra layer. I don't know. I'm also overthinking this and it's really stupid. Anyways, <laughs> let's finish getting ready. So I did um, the majority of my face makeup. I didn't feel like curling my hair because hmm, too lazy. Interestingly enough, I feel like I often get asked about what makeup products I use, which is extremely flattering because I, first of all, don't know shit about makeup. I would say the big products that I use, specifically because I get sent these products for free, and so obviously I use them, but I'm actually really fond of them, and I have spent my own money on this brand now, which before I never would have tried this brand. It's called Merit Beauty. This is like a little bronzer glow stick. I have multiple pieces of their makeup that I used actually already to get ready. And then this is their face blush. Ugh, I don't know what it's called, but this is super awesome because I actually use this on my cheeks <laughs> and on my lips. So two in one right there. So I use that makeup. I use Tarte and then I just go with the flow, whatever I got. Oh, also, if you watched a recent video, you would know that I purchased these expensive lip glosses by Rihanna's brand and I will say 
totally thoroughly impressed worth the money i wore this lip glossing hiking with camper yesterday i forgot to tell you guys when i got back to my car it was still on that was like an hour and a half sweating hot eating drinking like <laughs> I'm impressed. Sorry, had to stop that mid-sentence because um, I'm using my sister's camera right now. She has my camera, which is like a lot smaller. We traded because she's at Disneyland and she wanted something smaller and her memory card is full. So thank you, Kristen. Thank you for giving me a full memory card. I don't even remember what I was saying. I was in the middle of talking about this lip gloss. Worth the hype. It's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and then we will go out and meet up with my friend who's already out actually so I need to get to getting um, first thing I'm gonna do like I said like all my face makeup and all that's done I just wanted to add like a little bit of glow this is the Merit Beauty I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose here do I know what I'm doing <laughs> absolutely not um, <laughs> I just do what makes me feel good and if I'm being honest that's really all that's important. Like, if you feel confident going out, that's all that matters. Now I'm going to line my lips. I got this Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury? I don't know how to say it. Lip liner. <laughs> I also think it's worth the price. That's expensive as well, but it's like literally perfect and it stays on forever. So we're going to do that really fast. I'm actually going to do it over here because you can see my lips better. Oh, also, <laughs> hi. It's really kind of hard to talk and do this at the same time. I'm going to take this chapstick off. Um, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys was mm, something I know I've talked about like one time, but something that I think is super cool as a nurse. There is an app. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to do this. There is an app on your phone that you can download probably regardless of like whatever phone you have it's called nurse grid and honestly you can get it regardless of what your job is but in general it's just really nice where's my phone here i will show you guys at my work we get our schedule like i would say maybe mm, six to eight weeks in advance I don't know, kind of just depends. Do I know my schedule off the top of my head? Hell, no I don't. <laughs> Do I have a planner with like everything organized? I used to, have I recently done that? No, I haven't. Um, but if anybody ever wants to like make plans or like ask me if I'm free that day or this or that, obviously the first thing that comes to my mind is like, am I working? And most importantly, am I working that night? Because if so, I probably can't do anything that day. So this is an app where you input your schedule here. Mine looks a little crazy because I've picked up some extra shifts, but you literally input your schedule here so you know your schedule. It's just an app. It's so, so easy. But the absolute best part of it is, is that you can add your friends and your family. Hence, my brother is a nurse. And so like I'm trying to make plans with him to play tennis and like... We have some things that we're doing this summer as a family, and so it's really nice to compare schedules and so easy to make plans this way because I can literally just look at his schedule or my friend's schedule whenever the hell I want. So I could not recommend that app more. I think it's great. I'm just giving you guys all the recommendations. Okay, I need to <sighs> hurry this up. Anyways, the app is free, and yeah, I think it's... Awesome. It was very, very well made. Okay, so I'm using the Merit Beauty blush that has dog hair on it. <laughs> Put on my lips. A little dotsy there on my cheeks. You know, everybody looks good a little flushed, a little rosy. I'm going to put a gloss. Last but certainly not least, this is spray that, <laughs> I don't even know where you got this. My esthetician, who's amazing, yeah, I got this from her. It's CBD spray. I don't like participate in any sort of things like that. She recommended it. It's not like C 
CBD eating a gummy or like drinking a drink or well there's nothing wrong if you do that as well no judgment I live in the state of Oregon <laughs> people can do literally whatever they want here anything flies nowadays this is a spray and I like using this even when I don't wear makeup because it just adds like well after I put on my like setting spray I act like I know what I'm talking about this adds like a little bit of glow it seems like it just makes my face look more shiny glowy it just makes it look like it just jumped out of a pool it's good it's like a wet look but it's not too wet and <laughs> it smells really really good so we're gonna do two sprays of this and voila we were done I need to head out now because my friend she's there but I think she's with other people so it's not like she's waiting up on me I don't know I feel like this just looks, ow, just pull my hair. I feel like this just looks honestly stupid. Like I look like I'm like really trying really hard here. <laughs> Maybe I am. Right. Cheers. <laughs> All right, that's something. Hello. It is Sunday and it is 7.30 in the evening. I have been literally doing nothing. I've been so lazy. I had so much fun last night with my friend. I haven't seen in quite some time and we met up with some other people and stayed out pretty late. Um, camper, no, no sir, camper cracking open a Alipop. Um, and I had to leave my car downtown and then I had to go get my car this morning when I woke up. Um, but I slept in, which was good because tomorrow night, I work the next three night shifts in a row. So I work tomorrow night and then the following days afterwards. And I was up really late last night, obviously slept in today and so I'll probably just try to stay up as late as I can tonight too and so it should be a pretty smooth transition to get back into work and the swing of things and all of that but I've been really lazy today and I, you know what I don't feel guilty for it everybody needs a lazy Sunday that's what we're doing so I actually got Uber Eats and got some Chipotle delivered I've just been literally sitting on the couch eating grapes and watching TV, hanging out with camper. I'm going to dig in to my Chipotle and just have a relaxing rest of the evening. Just want to say thanks guys for hanging out with me for a weekend in my life as a nurse. Obviously, I didn't do any nursing stuff because I actually had this entire weekend off, which was amazing. One thing that I tend to forget and I have to remind myself how fortunate and lucky I am to be in this profession where I technically only have to work three days a week. Granted, those three days are long and they're hard and they're tough, but it's really nice to have four days off a week and then sometimes with the way that your schedule rolls or this or that, you get like an entire week off. It's just really special and really nice and I'm grateful for that. I think definitely one of the perks about being a nurse. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, and I hope you guys are all doing lovely. Happy spring to you. He says goodbye. See you guys next time. Are you hungry? I need to feed you dinner, don't I? I need to feed you dinner. Mwah. I love you. <laughs> also, don't forget to check out Timu's website or check out their app and use the discount code I have for you guys, which is cell 3759 Bye!